In this video, we're going to be going over the Lucky HD motor flicker. In this video, we're going to be going over the Lucky HD flicker tail motorized beating decoy by Lucky Duck. I have no idea why they make these names so long. We're going to be checking it out to see uh, what it does, how it works, uh, how it's made, and maybe if this decoy is right for you. So if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Vinny. This channel is all about hunting, fishing, getting outdoors, trying new things, and making some good old memories while we're at it. So at any time during this video, you find yourself getting any value, either entertainment or otherwise, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. That'll let me know about it. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right on into this thing. So if you've seen any of my other videos similar to this where I uh, do some comparison and some reviews of decoys like this, I usually like to compare two different decoys, but I really couldn't find anything to, to compare to this one other than maybe Mojo's Flock of Flickers. But those things have been around a while, and if you've looked at any of the reviews, they're quite terrible. People say they love the way they would work if they worked, but they would only last like a couple hunts, and then that was it. So I didn't really want to go ahead and compare it to that. So we're just going to do a straight-up review just on this decoy. Now, the decoy is pretty simple. There ain't a whole lot to it. The bottom, you have a weighted keel right here, which is good. That'll help to keep it uh, upright, stop it from turning over. And all it is is the bottom unscrews. If you look in there, all it is is a four AA batteries. It says it claims to last up to 20 hours on just these four AA's. It's also ready for the Lucky Duck remote. This is just a, a dummy plug. It says it right there. So I don't know if you can see all the way down in there, but in there there's a black ring. It's kind of soft past those batteries down there. And I'm assuming that's the O-ring that'll seal once you tighten this down. So you want to make sure you tighten it down all the way so that no water will seep up in there and ruin your electronics. But that's it. Once you put the four batteries in, it comes with two of these tails, so I guess if you lose one, you got a spare. And all it does, uh, I thought it would snap in there, but all it is is magnetic. You just stick it right in that little, they got a little white hole right there. You just stick it in there, snaps right in, and uh, you know the magnet just holds it down. And then you just press the button, and it just starts wagging its tail like a happy old duck. Happy duck. Happy duck. And that's it, it's just on a timer, it keeps wobbling and wagging. And also, I forgot to mention, at the bottom of this weighted keel, there's also a spot right here for you to hang your, uh, your Texas rig uh, decoy weight. So I'm gonna get that attached, we're gonna toss it in the water, see what it does. I don't know if you've seen what happened there. When I threw it in the first time, kind of let it hit the water, let it splash, and it kind of knocked one of the batteries loose a little bit. No big deal. I just pulled it up, put the batteries back in. So I guess uh, this decoy, you're really going to have to just set gently in the water. You can't just go tossing it all willy-nilly like, you know what I mean? I'll be honest with you, though. Looking at it in the water, it looks pretty good, especially with the sun out like that. That light is hitting that, that tail, and it's flickering. It's doing a pretty good job. I wish it would make a little bit more ripples in the water. You can see, I mean just barely any ripples around the side it would be nice if it would have made i don't know just half the ripples like the mojo rippler would have made just to add some more some more motion around it but i mean for what it is it, it's doing a pretty good job i think it looks pretty good and you know, i like it being on that timer where it's not a constant thing but it's just a little flutter every now and then i'm pretty sure that would get some ducks attention so overall i kind of like the decoy i mean it looks good out in the water but for 79 dollars that i paid for it they could have made a few more improvements like this uh tail right here is made out of kind of like a banner material but it's got some hard plastic on the inside that that keeps its shape i think they could have made this this whole thing probably a solid piece of plastic i mean it seems pretty durable and they give you two so there's that uh, i wish like i said i wish it made just a, a little bit of ripple didn't have to doesn't have to be much but if it would be nice to make it just a little bit more ripple to uh to add some more effect to your spread but I mean, the quality overall is pretty good. I mean, it's a hard plastic. The paint job looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. But if you guys want to check it out further, maybe thinking about picking one up, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check that out. Unfortunately, this duck season is almost over. So I only got a few more times that I can uh, actually go out and try this thing. So uh, make sure you subscribe to check out our uh, hunting and fishing vlog so you can see how this thing holds up for a few hunts. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you want to check out uh, some more videos like this or our hunting and fishing vlogs. But until next time, get outdoors, try new things, and make some new memories.